Hello, I'm Carl Rowland with Shoreline Products. In this sequence of videos, we're going to be going over our 17-inch ball screw lathe. This is our AccuPro Turn 17-inch lathe with our state-of-the-art Masso Touch controller. So when you receive your machine, once you get your cabling set up, it'll be like this. Okay, your machine will come, the controller will come with a USB. On the USB are uh, software, sample programs, machine settings. So all you do is you put it in the USB outlet under the controller. Then you turn the controller on with the power button, which is right here. Okay, when it turns on, you'll have to hit your e-stop, push your e-stop in, and then turn it off, and your e-stop will stop, will stop flashing red. Okay, the first thing you want to do, all, your, all of your settings should already be in the machine at this point, and your software loaded when you get it. The first thing you want to do is jog your axis to make sure things are moving in the correct direction. So on the F3 jog page, and you can do this before you home your machine, you're going to go Z minus, should move towards the, the headstock, C plus towards the tail stock, X minus, oh, I'm sorry, X plus away from you, X minus towards you. Okay, so right now all the axes are moving in the correct direction. So you'll see the yellow flashing light telling you that you need to home out the machine. Okay, you've got the home button in the middle of your X and Z direction buttons. All you do is push and hold the home button for five to seven seconds and let go, and your machine homes out on the z-axis first and then homes out on the x-axis. So right now it's homing correctly. Uh, if it wasn't homing correctly or some other problems, we'll get into that later, along with loading software and other things. So right now, what I wanna do is jog my axis down. In the jog, you have continuous mode, which these machines will go 70 inches a minute, so it jogs pretty fast. On the continuous mode, you have a feed override. You can put this down so that your feed goes slower. Generally, when I'm touching off tools, I'll wrap it up close and then I'll turn this down. When you get real close, then what you're gonna to wanna to do, I'll put this back up, is go to step mode, and in step mode you have your choices of 100, 10, 1 thou, or half thou. And whichever one you choose, 10 thousandths will say, every time you touch an axis, it will jog that increment each time. So those are your two jog functions. Okay, uh, what we have set up right now is we have three tools. Uh, we have our rear mount, cutoff tool on the back and this one is a 5 ace rear mount a tool holder. The 5 ace is designed to hold ER16 collet holders. It will also, oh, also this can be mounted this way or you can also mount it uh, parallel with your axis and use your 5 ace holes. We also have our WW collet holder. Uh, our WW collets go from 0.3, 11 thousandths to 5 sixteenths, eight millimeter size. So if you're holding really small drill bits, you might decide to go with a collet holder over a chuck. The uh, standard holders we have have a three-ace hole in them. They're designed to hold all of our three-ace tooling, our boring bars, um, the shanks on our, on our, our drill chucks, and, and other accessories that we sell. I generally set up with a machine like this where the cutoff is on the back and then you'll either have uh, drilling, turning, whatever you need for the operation you're going to run. So on this machine we have a cutoff which I also end up using as a hard stop to feed stock through if, I, if I'm using a collet. Um, this boring bar is set up with the insert facing down so that I can use it as a a, a roughing turning tool. If I had the, the insert um, facing straight up and it was a uh, left hand tool, then I would be able to do boring with it. And we have an 80 degree 
uh, insert turning tool. So these are the three tools just as a, a sampling that we're going to go through in the video. We have our uh, two and a half inch three jaw chuck on the spindle. So what I'm going to do is step through uh, touching off your tool, uh, calling up programs and some other things here. <laughs> 